Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are here with Editor Shane, and he's going to draw with us. Today we are going to draw a puffer fish. So, first you want to do a complete circle. Wait, hold on. I need to buy other thing. Hold on, I have a special thing for circles. Alright, and you have to edit everything I just said right now, and you have to edit the thing, okay? You have to edit whatever, whenever I went gone. Okay, now since you got that circle done, you are gonna um, add the spikes. So, we're gonna do spikes. Like, So, we're gonna do a spike like I hate lead pencils, I'm too to the right So we're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna, like that, like that, and then, you want them to be a little, like that, like, kinda like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you wanna add, with the puffer fish, so, we're gonna make him blown up, cause he accidentally got hit by, a turbo mosquito. He got blown up by a mosquito because the mosquito sucked all his blood. So now he's floating because he has spikes. So we are gonna. So we're just gonna add spikes like right there. We're gonna add spikes right there. And then we are gonna go to the tail just like that. And we're gonna go down. And then go like that, so out. So you're gonna go like this. It should look like this. You're gonna wanna see the spikes later. Then when you got that done, you were, since puffer fish have a small tail. How do puffer fish tail look like? I'm just gonna see it looks like this. And then yeah, it's gonna look like that. Yep, my puffer fish is gonna look unique in a way. I'm gonna drop my pencil. All right, now once you got the tail down, it should look like this. So like that it looks like a little, a little, like you know those things where you fly around, like the um. The bat, the football things. No, like football things. So we're just gonna add little stripes, just to remind us for later, like that. So now we're gonna work on the inside spikes later, but for now we're gonna do spikes around the whole thing. So we're gonna lean line right here, like there, and then we're gonna lean, leave a good space. In between. There. Okay. So once you got that done, you are going to do the spikes all around it. But in between these lines, no spikes. I actually met my editor today, right, Shane? I met you. Yeah, it was a fun time. That's. Right when I got home, I uh, started this video. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do spikes all the way around it, like that. So, 
remember your other video that um you said it was gonna take a day to edit but it only took like an hour because yeah. <laughs> uh, you find the editing website that's like make a good Oh yeah, we're not we're new to this stuff. I only have two subscribers. So make sure to subscribe. Because I I really want to make a living out of YouTube. And I figured out that oh and our merch. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a chameleon on it. Once we get to that level. Hey Shane! You know all this stuff. When do we get our own merch? Uh, when we grow and we platforms, like, I'll go 100k. When we growing. Okay, so, guys, we need 10 likes on today's video to do a animal that none of you guys are familiar with. It's going to be a unique bird. It's going to be something called a kookaburra. <laughs> okay, if you guys aren't familiar with that bird, it's technically a woodpecker. It's a type of woodpecker. I need to sharpen my pencil. I'm just going to get a new pencil. Cause that's what I do. I get new pencils when I'm, uh, when I don't have sharps. So we're still drawing the spikes. I mean, it should take 10 minutes, maybe ish. If you go fast, which you don't want to, and you want to leave a little bit of space in between them, make sure they're not too tall. You kind of want them to be all the same height, but some could be thicker because puffer fish, all animals are different. That is true, right, Shane? All animals are different. I like how I'm just telling you all this stuff. Like, you're right, Shane? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shane, he's just been helping me a lot. And I forgot to pay you again. Oh, dang it! We need 10 views on today's video to make an iguana. 10 views. That's a lot, guys. So, if you can, please watch it again. And I'll tell most of my friends. 10 views in a month. And we'll draw a realistic iguana. Continue into spikes. Okay, I'm just going to go a little fast for this right here. Are you done with your spike, Shane? Yep. Can I see it? Wow. That is... How did you do that? This is mine. I haven't even added the face yet, because I never said that. Here, can I see your face? Okay, then I might do that idea. Or I'm just gonna do that idea. So once you're gonna go like that, and then you're gonna go out, and then you're gonna go like there, right there. That is gonna be the head. And then if you have enough room, make extra spikes. Like right there. Not on top of the head though. Never on top of the head. Now we're going to do an eye. And then we're going to do a mouth. Then we're going to add lips on this guy. So he's going to. He's going to be like that. He's going to be lips. Okay, now once you're done with that. You would add spikes in the middle because you know how puffer fish are round, like, like a, like a, like a oval shape sometimes. So they somehow have spikes on the sides, 
So we're just gonna draw spikes. This might take you a little while. So I'm gonna try to go fast. Never go faster on your rollings, guys. You always wanna leave a little space in between these spikes. So you're just gonna cover the whole puffer fish in spikes, technically. Yes, we will be able to draw this, but it's gonna take a long time, so that's gonna be part two coloring. Please subscribe, guys. I really need it for the support. This is our new one. We've only been doing this for, what, a day, Shane? If that, 24 hours? Two days, yeah. Yeah, the first day, we got 16 likes. Well, 16 views. And we got five likes. And then we got... We uploaded four videos yesterday, which is insane. We wanted to go big at the start. So people could actually watch our things. I'm just going to blow mine up with spikes. I like your short tail, though. I should probably add a short tail than mine. Oh, and if you guys erase, totally fine. Well, you can always get back up again. That's kind of looking like a puffer fish. Don't worry if, if your thing looks bad when you erase it because if you think it looks bad when you erase it, color it. Uh, to retrace it in Sharpie. Highly recommended. It always works on me. This is my puffer fish so far. It's more like a spiky puffer fish. I'm going to add less spikes when we get to the top but bigger spikes there's a bigger spikes right here then you're just gonna add oh and guys we need 10 subscribers in the next month so we could do a scootering video or a skateboarding video if you are happy all right, now, once we did the fans right here, we are gonna cover the whole fin with fans. Cause you know how fish have that fan-ish tail? If you've ever gone fishing and you caught one, they have like a fanned tail. This is a saltwater puffer fish. That's why they have the spikes. Cause freshwater puffer fish are like, no spikes. So yeah, we're just gonna draw spikes and little fins on the tail. Alrighty, um, we're gonna do a little dot just for texture on the head. Make sure you can see them though. None on the lips or on the eyes, just like that. Then you always want to sign your name. Hey guys, that is how you draw a puffer fish. It is mine, look like that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. We need um, 10 views in the next 24 hours on this video to color it. Stay ready, beware. Part two is coming up. I know you got this, guys. Bye. See you on the next trolling adventure.